when I think about my friends John and Kelly, I immediately think of two of the most selfless people that I've ever met in my life. How fitting is it that two people who live such a life of exemplary giving and caring to friends, family, clients, patients, found each other. It was only a matter of time. Kelly, as Giovanni describes you as an angel, caring for your patients. Giovanni, as you endeavor in your career in helping others, it tells me that you both went your own way. You, you went towards your own dreams and the unexpected common hour, you found each other. Kelly, I vow to never stop cooking for you. To always wait for you so that we can <laughs> together and to rub your feet, even though I absolutely hate feet. John, I vow to love you for you, whether it be today in your formal vest or tomorrow in a backward hat, Jordans, and a Wu Tang shirt. Kelly, I vow to always remind you how beautiful you are to me and how I vow patience when you deliberate, analyze, and rethink every snap decision I want to make. John, I vow to always believe in you, to trust in you, remind you that you are a superstar, and to never forget to buy you your own dessert. Kelly, I vow to always love you as much, if not more, than I do today. I vow to do everything I can to make you feel as special as a person as you truly are. I gotta love you as much as you love Drake, but never more than I know you'll love me and the family that we share together. I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Giovanni Leopoldi. When he looked into her eyes, he learned the most important part of the language that all the world spoke. The language that everyone on earth was capable of understanding in their heart. It was love. Something older than humanity, more ancient than the desert. What the boy felt at that moment was that he was in the presence of the only woman in his life, and that with no need for words, she recognized the same thing. <laughs>